is weather. <laughs> I'm much happier with today's. No, I was going to say, at least someone was delighted with yesterday. What an awful, awful day it turned out to be. This is today there. How beautiful is this? I uh, just mentioned here that we've got some sailboats and right behind me we've got uh, also the wind farm. And uh, the reason why I mention that is wind is a big part of our story for the next 24, 48 hours or so. Actually, it's fairly breezy out there at the moment, but beautiful. Lovely sunshine, generally dry for the rest of the afternoon, feeling much warmer than yesterday. But for tomorrow, the winds continue to pick up. And so we've got a Met Office weather warning running through much of the day tomorrow. This area of low pressure then swinging towards, as you know, as I always say, when you get the white lines packed together, that's when you see uh, the winds picking up. And that's what we've got uh, through the next 24 or so hours. So breezy for the here and now, but nothing more than that. The temperatures are doing nicely. We're into the mid 20s Celsius this afternoon, a little above average for the time of year. And then here's how we start tomorrow morning. We've got some warm air with us coming up from the south. So yeah, temperatures overnight certainly staying in the mid teens a little bit of Mr. Merck, but generally we're off to a great start tomorrow and mostly dry. You might see the odd shower. The thing about tomorrow, though, will be the strength of those winds coming in from the south, particularly along the coast, but all of us seeing gusts in excess of 40 miles an hour, uh, perhaps 45 to 50 miles an hour along the coast for a time. And that's significant because, of course, at this time of year, the trees are in full leaf. It means we could see some branches down. That could affect you on the roads tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then a lot of dry weather into the weekend. But, you know, there's no heat wave in prospect. Okay. All right. Thank